internet. So if you guys watched my last home decor video, you would know that I made some big purchases, just kind of refurnishing and redecorating my beauty room. And this video is basically the sequel to that one, where I show you guys some affordable home decor solutions that are really fun to put together, amazing in how they turn out, and can really jazz up any space, whatever your sort of taste may be when it comes to decorating your home. So I'm going to show you guys four DIY projects. The first one is a DIY ombre painting that you can easily put together with minimal um, equipment that's going to be so much cheaper than going out and buying a painting and it's going to be so much more personal to you because it will remind you of being able to kind of put yourself out there and create art even if you don't feel like you're an artistic sort of person. I personally have not painted for years and years. I used to do watercolors when I was young, but um, I'll be doing acrylic painting with you guys, which is one of the most affordable types of paintings to get. You just need a canvas, a couple of paints, I'll show you guys everything that you need, and you'll see that the techniques are really, really simple. Anybody can do them, and I think it will look amazing in any space. The second one is how to create a piece of accent furniture from an existing unit that you have. The one that I'm going to be using is the one that used to be behind me. Um, it was a huge IKEA shelf with glass doors that was just very brown in a small space. It was just very large looking and not very chic or girly. And so I totally gave it new life inspired by Tiffany Colors. You guys will see how it came together. And I'm so, so happy with it. It's now living in my bedroom where it's a much better fit. And then I'll show you guys two more solutions, one involving lights and one involving hooks um, for a storage solution. If you do find this video useful, help Helpful or inspiring then do give it a thumbs up and let's get right into it so the first thing you will need is a set of brushes you don't need very many or very expensive ones and a canvas and an easel or something to rest your canvas on I'm using mainly primary colors so as you can see here I've got a red I've got blue white black and yellow but of course you can get purple and any color that suits your fancy that you're going to want to have in your apartment as decor. So I'm starting to paint from the corner, very concentrated at first, and then adding more water. One of my great tips for you guys is to use lots of water when you use acrylic based paints because that's how you're going to get that beautiful, light, airy feel to the painting and how you're going to be able to blend everything properly. Blending, just like with makeup, is really important when it comes to painting. That's how you're going to get that professional look. Then I'm adding some more purple, more and more blue as I go over and create a gradient. And don't worry about it being perfect. As long as you work fast, you can always go back with some water to cover any brush strokes and to create that gradient effect. And you can see I've added some yellow, some orange, and I'm going over and creating what looks like a mess at first, which is often how it is when you're creating art. It's supposed to be a sort of serendipitous process. And I'm adding some blue in the corner. Then I'm adding some more dark red, which is red with a little bit of black and blue added in to create a stormy sunset effect. I feel very much like Bob Ross right now. I don't know if you guys remember him from PBS. He was a big part of my childhood and kind of introduced me to painting. So then I'm just adding some more sort of stripes of color with lots of water mixed in and fading that into a sort of ambery, corally pink. As we go towards the bottom, I want it to get lighter and lighter. And then I'm just blending, going back with some water and a little bit of more red to kind of create interesting effects and little patches of color and interest. Just sort of go with the flow Add a little more color where you feel it belongs, a little more water where you feel that there should be some lightness. Water really can create the effect of light in a painting. Of course, you can also use white, but that won't give you the same transparency, which is a really nice look when it comes to ombre paintings. Then give your painting lots of time to dry and use good old masking tape to tape around all the sides. Paint the sides of the painting to create a cheap frame that's going to really make your painting pop against your wall and then remove the paint once it's fully dry. It really is a very cool effect and you can experiment with different types of contrasting sides. This one actually matches my Tiffany cabinet. So you can see the before here of that piece of furniture. 
It's only Ikea, but I think it's really turned it into a jewel in my bedroom. I am so happy every day that I wake up and see it. I adore the color. I will link what color paint I use in the information bar below in case you guys are interested. It's a very simple process. I just primed it, painted two coats, and then finished it. You can see I picked up some really lovely knobs at Anthropology that are like precious stones. Another design solution is to use a simple coat hook to hang up your hair accessories like my flat iron right here. Or reuse some Christmas lights to decorate around your TV or fireplace and create brightness in your home at night. These will be like twinkling little fairy lights. So much for watching this little DIY Martha Stewart like video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!